Hey guys, so today I'm going to be making homemade pizza, but kind of a clean version, but kind of not because the other way would have been a lot cleaner, but it failed. Let's just... Okay, so this is going to be the first of many cooking videos, hopefully in this kitchen, because I'm house sitting at this house for a week and it's really, really nice house and a really nice kitchen. So I did make this pizza last week, except I used coconut flour for the crust because I was like, ew, let's be extra healthy. The pizza sauce was good, everything was good except for the crust because coconut flour does not actually ever become dry, I don't think, <laughs> unless you just have to cook it for like 10 years. Plus it tastes like coconuts, plus it was grainy, so would not recommend trying this with coconut flour unless you're an expert at it. I thought about trying almond flour, but then I just looked at the package and it says perfect for baking. I'm just gonna try it with self-rising flour like the normal recipe says, but the crust just has flour and plain Greek yogurt, which I think is really, really cool. The sauce was really good too. And yes, it's in the middle of summer and I'm wearing a drug rag, but that's because it's really cold in this house, but I also don't wanna knock the air up because um, I like it to be cold so that I can be cozy. I'm gonna do the pizza sauce first and I'm gonna actually half the recipe because it makes like three and a half cups and I don't want that much. I've also changed another thing. The recipe calls for a can of crushed tomatoes, but I haven't been to the store and they have plenty of diced tomatoes, so I'm just gonna use diced tomatoes. And I looked it up and they said, whenever you're making pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce, it doesn't really matter what you do. I used my magic bullet last week, but they have a way nicer blender and I used this this morning for my smoothie bowl. I think I'm gonna drain the liquid out of this. I just feel like since I'm using something different, I should probably do that. Okay, there's still a lot of liquid in here. I didn't get near as much as I thought I would out, but it's fine. So instead of a 24 ounce can, I'm using a 15 ounce can. I know that's not technically half, but it's close enough. I'm actually gonna add two like fresh basil leaves to cause four two teaspoons to three minced garlic or just two to three garlic cloves i'm pretty sure we added two like one at first last time since we were halving the recipe but i ended up wanting two so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and add two after the garlic three-fourths of a teaspoon of italian seasoning divided by two is like three-eighths one two since this is oh i'm just gonna add a smidge more fourth of a teaspoon of ground black pepper so that means it's an eighth of a teaspoon fourth of a teaspoon of salt but i don't measure it since this is like himalayan salt it's a lot less salty to me at least that's about an eighth probably <laughs> i'm gonna go blend this up the blender is in the pantry which is bigger than my kitchen i don't feel like moving the whole base Crocky. It's a lot liquidier than it was that time, but it's fine. Mmm! Tastes like pizza sauce. I mean, it probably just tastes like tomatoes, actually, but, like, it could probably use more garlic, but I don't really feel like cracking a whole other thing open for that, so I think I might do a few more shakes of Italian seasoning just to make it a little bit more pizza-y. Maybe a little more salt. <laughs> I love whenever I look like this, I can like just do whatever I want. It makes me feel like such a chef whenever. I'm just gonna put this much on this much and this much. Okay. Let's have a people of plain Greek yogurt. One cup of self-rising flour to half a cup of Greek yogurt. So what I do when I cook, I like to minimize the amount of things I have to use so that I don't have to wash as many dishes. It's like a half a cup and a cup, then I just use a half of a cup and use two half of the cups to make a cup. And there you go. Do the dry thing first so that you don't have to worry about contaminating it. Okay, I think I'm gonna use the spoon to put it in here so that I don't risk getting any flour in here. All right, crikey, now let's just mix. Let me take my ring off because I'm about to be getting in here. Of course, my camera would turn off the second I put my hands in this. This is like super dry, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit more yogurt. Boss, I just can't get to you right now in bunches. All right, I, I do apologize. All right? <laughs> I probably look crazy. I'm just gonna add a, like a big spoon bowl. That might have been too much. Might not have been enough. We shall see. Look at that. So I'm just gonna spread this flour out on the baking sheet. It's real sticky. I think that's good. Okay, you definitely can't tell, but like it's kind of thin, kind of not, but it's not really that big of a pizza. Now we get to add the starch. I need to wash and cut up. 
I've been watching The Flash halfway through season two already, and I just started watching it a week ago. And I couldn't stop the girl. I'm pretty sure I probably said that at some point, but maybe not. It was kind of a weird ending, honestly. I'm not gonna give anything away, but like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the ending didn't really end. I don't know. I was like, what the heck? That was the last episode, bro. I cut my mushrooms pretty thick because I love mushrooms and my pizza is about to be covered. And I think I'm going to put the mushrooms under the cheese because like, I just feel like they don't cook properly if I just put them on top. I definitely need to preheat the oven. Yeah, 350 degrees. Oh, this is definitely a lot liquidier than my last one, but I don't mind. And I'll have the exact recipes of all this down below and I'm gonna put the mushrooms on. Yeah, cause I mean like I said it, but I was probably really distracted. I'm definitely an oddball because I like a lot of sauce and then not a lot of cheese just because cheese is not my favorite. Pizza is like the only thing that I eat cheese on basically. This is literally gonna be covered in mushrooms because I definitely did way too many because I thought my pizza was gonna be so much bigger. I guess I could have made like super thin crust and then it would have been like huge, but I'm just gonna eat the rest because there's no room. And then I'm gonna use the rest of this mozzarella that I had from my last pizza. The recipe says 10 minutes, but then it says two minutes more if you have a regular oven. I think we're just gonna do it for 10 minutes and then look. So here's the big reveal. Here is my pizza. Here's a nice close up of my pizza and the little doggy dogs. Bro, I just let you out. The thing with this like meal to me is like, no, it's not like the healthiest thing ever, but it's better than like store buying pizza. I mean, we'll see if it's actually good, but like, you know, the ingredients that go into it. So yeah, it's not like the healthiest option. You saw those pure ingredients go into it. So you know, there's not like any artificial stiff and you can alter the flour. So it's gluten free. As I said in my drive with me slash like whenever I made my smoothie bowl, I was talking about how much my priorities have changed and how I really wanna start making cooking videos. So here we all. Oh, I was talking about the flash. I never kind of finished talking about it. It's so good. Not only is what's his face like super cute, that's not the reason that I like it. One of the boys that I babysit watches it. He got me onto it. I just wish this pizza would be done. Boss, do you want out now? Come on out. Okay, I probably honestly cooked these for a total of like 30 minutes. It could be because my crust is thicker than what it said, but it finally feels like the most crusty it's been. I literally just put it in for another 10 minutes after I did that where I was like, oh, let's do two minutes, three minutes. I'd rather have burnt pizza than not crunchy, but it ended up working. So now I'm gonna finally eat now that it is 2.30. I'm gonna watch an episode of The Flash because why not? I just realized I never ended the video. I only have one piece left. I ate three fourths of it. I think I need to add something to the dough for the crust because the crust just tastes like dough. So I feel like if I added like garlic salt or cheese to it, probably both, um, it'd be good. Normally crust is like my favorite part of pizza and I just like will eat the crust. If I don't, I'm not hungry, I'll just eat the crust because it's so good. And I was thinking about it and it definitely always has like a flavor. It's not like it just tastes like dough. If I were to do it again, that's what I would do. As I said, I ended up cooking it for a long time, probably because I did it a little bit thicker than I was supposed to, but I like thicker crust. So I probably ended up doing it like a total of 30 minutes. It was good. Tastes like pizza. So yeah i do recommend you try it even if you aren't trying to eat healthy i think it's a good challenge and i mean it's easy and most of the things you'll have at home already i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did what do i even say if you did i would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it means so much to me i literally haven't said that in so long i almost forgot what i said thank you so much for watching bye